Hey watchers, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be about Volca and the quests I did to finish her. So I'm on day 23, just crossed over into day 23 when I finished. Um, that's about four days past the minimum, which is actually pretty hard considering what it requires on Arena these days. Arena is harder than it used to be. So just kind of looking over Volca's kit. She's got some debuffs. Um, she has some self-healing. And she can do a little bit of damage, so I think her best place is Artifact Material Raid. Um, she helps on Guild Boss. I have not been able to get her work to work very well on Guild Boss since I got her, so I've kind of given up on that. Um, Komodo has actually helped me more with his bleed than what she does. So, go figure. But she's going to be a useful, chan or useful hero. I need to get her built... Uh, I need to get her up to 60. Right now I only have her at 50, so um, she's she's going to be pretty good for me. So I'm going to walk through H715. This one was pretty difficult. I did not three-star it, but I'll worry about that later. So we drop into the Descend. Okay. So we're going to have Ludwig, Ludwig come out at the end here. And it's a rush to break the crystals. So... I'm going to start off with a fighter on the left side. That's to block the skeletons who try to make that side. And it's a tankable fighter, tanky fighter who can survive a few hits from Ludwig. Because remember, the last person you put down is the one Ludwig, Ludwig attacks. So then I'm going to go with double healer center, pointed left and pointed right. So that'll also protect my range attackers when I place them. So moving on. I need to try to let some cost build up here. So trying to think about what I want to do, but I need to place somebody right there. I need to place a fighter on the right side, and I don't have enough to place anyone else before that fighter. So just fighter on the right side. Here I'm going with, I believe, Wrath. I want to put my arrogance in the center, but I also need to have somebody else go before him that isn't tanky. So I do like to occasionally pause as well just to kind of regroup my thoughts. So now the invisible guys are coming through and I'm going to need those left and right DPS. So I'm going to save up some cost, go left and right DPS, and a tanky fighter up front. So you see I have enough cost here. So I got my fighters in, or I got my DPS left and right, then I'm going to put arrogance in the front. I need him in healing range as well. So he can get healing from my Maiden. Now it's just, can this work? I have one more, and maybe if I had two instead of one, I might have been able to get three stars on here. And when I, when I say two instead of one, either fighters or defenders. But So right side is going to falter here, and I'm going to try to recover. So I'm going to throw in my defender, but I did lose one. You see, one got through. But that's it. Again, I'm not worried about the three stars. What I'm worried about is finishing. Okay, another might get through here, but actually the defender blocks three rather than two that the fighter blocks. So I'm actually okay there. So things are starting to swarm now, and I'm going to just try to finish the run. Ludwig is low HP. So, I mean, the big thing is these guys, these invisible guys... Once they get a little bit out of range of the people standing on the eyeball, then they also go invisible again. So I had that issue when I was trying to clear and couldn't do it. But so far, so good. It looks like I'm going to finish this out. These guys are all that's left. They're pretty tough, but I lost another one there. Not perfect, but I got the win. So AI was pretty good there on the left side. So that was H715. H713 was challenging. E413 was not challenging, so I don't show that one here. I did redo it, and I had no issues. So here's E513. We'll walk through this one as well. Relics 13. So this one, I go, I start off placing my best fighter up front. And obviously, arrogance makes this a little easier because it can range attack. If you don't have arrogance or somebody who can range attack as a fighter, you might put a defender up front. 
and use a couple of defenders in this one. And then use range attack from the squares behind to try and kill the uh, the mobs that come through. But I went arrogance because, well, I have arrogance. I realize not everybody has arrogance, but it, he's not absolutely required. He obvious, obviously makes my account better, and he makes things more trivial in some cases, but he's not required. So one got by him, and I'm going to have to put... Actually, I decided to restart it because my timing was off. So I'll go arrogance again. And see, that's the nice thing about this is you don't lose stamina restarting in this game like in, in Raid, or if you quit and restart, you lose energy. And you can quickly run out of energy. So a lot of the issues from Raid, they actually fixed. So I'm going to place a defender in the back on that upper side. So there I go, my best defender, Orem. And this is not an endorsement of how good Orem is. He's my best defender. That's not saying much. I have two who are not rares. So his defense and HP stack better than Livian's, so I use him. Livian has some better skills, but I use him instead. So I'm going to place a healer to reach the front and the mid. So here I put my Maiden. She's not going to hit Orem, but he doesn't need healing right now. So now the boss is going to pop out. So we have to create separation between the boss and his adds because he's going to throw down that healing and then that's going to cause everybody to heal up if they're all bunched up at the front. And then people are going to escape through. I'm going to put another fighter in the middle. So that's Valeria in the upper mid. Still got Arrogance doing his thing. He's going to get healed if anybody does him damage. Valeria is not in range of Maiden's heals here. So now I got these guys. And at some point, so I'm going to place the fighter, place a fighter next to the defender at the rear for DPS and a little more protection. Ain is not that great here. He's not a tanky fighter. But he's just there for a little bit of deflection. Hoping that things don't come to that, but things do come to that. I'm going to place another fighter lower mid. So now I've protected the upper, I've protected the lower, and I have arrogance at the front. Again, defender at the front would work fine if you have a ranged attacker throwing stuff at these, these mobs at the front. So now the healing aura is up. He, he can one-shot or close to one-shot these guys, so that does okay. So I'm going to place a mage or a marksman with good coverage. So on these back squares, I'm going to stick my AI out there. And she has good coverage. Things aren't make, make or break yet, but stuff is going to hit the fan here pretty soon. There's still 12 more mobs that are going to rush, counting the boss, so 11 plus the boss. So I'm going to place my second healer with good coverage. So second healer. It's going to need, need to be able to hit Valeria and hit my Defender and my Fighter in the back. So there's my Ezrin. My Maiden build is decent for the gear available at this level. My Ezrin build is kind of lacking. So now we got some tough ones coming through. Those big fighters can take me down quickly. So I, the idea here is some need to get through and some need to get held up at Arrogance. So we got one fighter who's at Valeria, and then the boss is all the way at the back, and I just lost somebody, but I'm going to place another range DPS. So now I'm just trying to get stuff killed. Nothing has leaked through, but I've already lost two. Now I've got the big guy coming through the, the bottom after I lost Arrogance, and Wrath is not going to be able to tank this, and Ain is not going to be able to tank this. So... That one's going to get through. Almost had him dead, but once he smacks at Ain, Ain's going down. Now I got, Then I have five more of these big beasts coming up. And I've got a few seconds before Arrogance comes back. So Arrogance is going to take the Valeria spot after she died. Fortunately, the AI is blocking people with the icicles. And now I can put the Valeria on the bottom. A couple get through, but it'll be enough to finish the quest. So I just got to be able to beat these guys. I got to beat the boss. The boss is almost dead. So the boss is pretty low. The healing aura is now no longer up. But now I got these big beasts coming in. 
and one more gets through, so that's two through. Only one more, and I'm done. But the boss is almost gone. I just don't have a lot of DPS up there. I use the shark from Maul. I get the boss killed, so now it's just these beastie guys. The defender can tank it. Um, and that'll do it. It certainly wasn't pretty, but it did get the job done. I'm not killing him fast enough, so I decide, okay, I'm going to kill somebody off and then per try and put arrogance in so he can finish it off and get it done. So, got the win there. The one star is fine. You don't need a three star for the Volca quest. You can come back later when it's easier. You have better builds on your heroes and do it. So, as you can see, arrogance obviously leading the way. AI did some respectable damage, and I got the win. So, that'll do it. That finishes off the final Heroes Path 18 for Volca. So I'll have some follow-up videos on what to do next and what I'm getting stuck at and what might help you. So I hope you found this video helpful and take care.